Good morning, folks. We've got seismicity, weather, Saturn, deep space, galactic magnetic fields, and more. As we watch the departing former active region here, let's shift to spaceweathernews.com, and we find the last day on our star in 193 angstroms. No sunspots, dark coronal hole patches on the south, reaching up transequatorially. In terms of the plasma filaments, we have also seen measurable quiet, no filament eruptions, and no major ropes in Earth-facing position today mostly around the limbs. Solar wind here, the stream intensified further overnight, driving up to mid-range intensity, still well short of scary, but around mid-range intensity is where the geomagnetic instability crops up. It was short-lived and has waned away. Top earthquake of the last day was forecast by a number of us at QuakeWatch.net, blot echoes for days, unanswered, and a strong low just offshore. Not that hard of a call, and luckily, they can handle sixes on that coastline. Tornado dropped in Jersey and Delaware overnight. It represents the most dangerous meteorological moments yesterday, but that is only because the cyclone toe-tapped the Indian coastline and then ran back out to sea. It was poised to be a beast and still could be when it comes back at land this weekend. It is also worth noting that while Seattle broke their record high temperature yesterday, it came just a few hours after the cold struck again on the other side of the mountain range. Quick aesthetic. NASA has a Gamma Burst article out to help introduce the topic in the observational history. Gamma Bursts are one of the sources of cosmic rays as well as high energy photons. Quick recommended reading. This not only is the city of Tokyo built into a waiting disaster of seismic proportions, but the anatomy of chaos described for a big city during a disaster is something every person alive should understand, at least those who live in a big city or who have family that do. Article is linked below. It is amazing that Cassini is still delivering science. Then again, they actually won't get through all of the data for years. Here, we are not only finding rippling of the rings, but we get a deeper dive on them through the ISS and VIMS. You can see the imagery upgrade with VIMS, that is a major degree. Yesterday we showed magnetic field structure in opposition to standing density wave at the galactic level, and today we take it another step. The interior of the galaxy sets the stage for the entire system fields, not only in the proton distribution, which does seem to have that central plane, but in the magnetic field itself, directly relative to the center of the galaxy. When we look at the big picture, we see the north and south jet-aligned fields in the middle, we see the fields aligned with the plane of the galaxy, and towards the left and right, you see the fields bend away from that point in the center. It is just outside this region where the arms begin and the rippling of the current sheet takes effect. Last but not least today, yet another story coming out about how Nova seeded our solar system. Now, while not one of them has blamed a recurring micronova on our star, I will remind everyone it took 23 episodes, hours of footage and evidence and interviews, and an Earth catastrophe cycle we could come to no conclusion other than the great solar blast of antiquity, and which all these recent papers say is possible, may not actually be a super flare, but one level higher. We greatly appreciate your support. Click Suspicious Observers here on YouTube to go to the channel page, scroll down and you will find Earth Catastrophe Cycle and a whole lot more. And by the way, given recent YouTube actions with other channels, if one day you should find this channel disappeared from YouTube, I hope many of you know what to do. Suspiciousobservers.org, spaceweathernews.com, plus our Twitter and Facebook would carry the news on day one. Promise. We've got wind maps and shots of our star to close. We'll do this all again tomorrow, right here, but right now it's 4.55 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone.